Hi. Good morning. I wanted to get on today and talk about sleeplessness. Uh, any of you that are creating any anxiety, depression, um, all those feelings that do pass, feelings pass, and those knowing, the knowing of who we truly are, we can stand on during those times and instead of resist what we don't want to go directly in and trust that this too shall pass. I, uh, I have been in the house for weeks now and my dear sister brought me some food uh, a couple days ago and just due to my health condition uh, and being more vulnerable, I've really made the decision for the most part to stay inside. And uh, as much as I'm a homebody, I still am challenging myself with that. And at the same time, just, gosh, just so praying for all those that are leaving their home or not even having a home and all the animals and just, yeah, all of it. Uh, whoo. So at night, I challenge myself at times with anxiety and uh, loneliness. And I am alone in the home uh, a lot of the time. Since my ex and I share our son and I, I know that loneliness is when I am not claiming God. I'm not, I'm not centered and whole within myself because we can be alone and never lonely. And I have experienced both in and out many times. And now I'm just, this is it. This is really it for a lot of us to actually be our practice and uh, be what we know and which is love. And when we have it to give, then we can, when we have it, when we're giving it to ourselves and we have it to help others. And that is really my intention is to continually ground myself so that I can be centered for my son and for others uh, through however that, that pathway takes me, whether it's oracle card readings or class or just phone calls with people. And, uh, I create so much happiness when I am taking care of me so I can actually be assistance to people. So one of the ways that I am so helping myself is saying this mantra. So in the middle of the night, if I'm creating trouble sleeping and I'm, it's like, it feels like it comes out of nowhere, just this just like I'm like just scared just this scared feeling and I hold myself and I say I know who I am and this is not it I know who I am and this is not it because we are not fear and when I do that I fall back to sleep. Oftentimes I just fall back to sleep. I know who I am and this is not it and just not allow my mind to take over. The other thing that I'm doing recently that is helping me so much, uh, I have crystals, a lot of crystals in my house and I don't use the crystals. It's more just knowing they're there and and just admiring the beauty and, and uh, enjoying them. And recently, I got 
in the middle of the night that I actually need to use the crystal. And so that's what I'm doing. And this is the one I've picked. And what I did last night in the middle of the night, it's like, I remember I used to say to my ex-husband that he was my rock. And I don't want to make anyone my rock except for God. That's it. And this crystal reminds me of God's clarity. And that's what I need to draw on is continually being clear, staying grounded, and being what I know I came here to be, which is a light worker in this world. So I'm holding this crystal and I just give it all to God, give it all to the crystal to just take it and cleanse everything that is not me. And there is just something about holding this, whether it's in the day or, or in the middle of the night, the coolness, the, the heavy, the weight of it, that helps me, oh gosh, helps me tap more into God. And ideally, I would like not to have to use anything outside of myself, including a crystal. And right now, when I am uh, experiencing myself as more challenged, then you know what? I'm going to use something outside of myself that I know is healthy for me. Uh, because I definitely can distract myself with things that aren't as healthy. So I'll take the crystal. <laughs> So if you have any tips of what you're doing, uh, also breathing, 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 that's, that's a huge one. And it's just really working to where I am sleeping pretty darn well and doing my best to just continually take care of me so I can be here for you guys. So again, if you ever want to get in that Oracle card bowl, let me know. I'm doing one reading a week and I may even up that. So I hope you all are well and staying healthy and breathing because breath is life. That is for sure. Love you guys. Bye.